What is a chemical compound? Let us learn what a chemical compound really is. Click on the titles listed here. Atoms, molecules, elements and compounds. When two or more elements bond together chemically, they form a new substance with its own properties. This combination of elements is called a compound. Water is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon dioxide, which is what you release when you exhale, is a compound made of carbon and oxygen. Most substances around you are compounds or mixtures of compounds. All compounds are made up of molecules. A molecule is the smallest part of the compound that has all the properties of that compound. For example, a molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Let's compare compounds and mixtures. Combining elements to form a compound is different from just mixing elements together. In a mixture of iron filings and sulfur, for example, each element holds on to its original properties. You can separate the mixture easily by dragging a magnet through it, attracting all the iron filings. But if you heat the mixture, a chemical reaction takes place that bonds the elements together. Not only does the new compound look different, but it also has no magnetic properties. Thus, compounds do not possess the properties of the elements which they are composed of. Separating the chemical compounds Unlike mixtures, which are fairly easy to separate, the strong bonds in a compound can be broken only by chemical means. By using electricity, we can break the bonds holding the elements hydrogen and oxygen present in the compound water. When an electric current passes through two tubes full of water, it breaks the tight bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms in each water molecule. Oxygen atoms bubble up to fill the blue balloon, while hydrogen atoms fill up the red balloon. There are two hydrogen atoms for every atom of oxygen in a water molecule H2O. Therefore, the red balloon fills up faster. Thus, when water is electrolyzed, oxygen gas is formed at the anode, while hydrogen gas is formed at the cathode. Energy changes take place when chemical compounds are broken down. Just a difference of one atom. The compounds displayed here may not look alike, but they are made of the same elements, iron and chlorine. The only difference between them is one atom. Ferrous chloride, FeCl2, has one atom of chlorine lesser than ferric chloride, FeCl3. The proportions of the elements present in a compound must remain constant, or else the compound changes into something else.